All right, folks, it's Pitching Ace 88. And I'm sure there are some of you guys that have already guessed this game, and if you guys can read in the description, you basically already know the game. But it is one that I played when it came out in 2007. It's made by 2K Games. Boston in particular. Ooh, and Australia. And that would be Bioshock. This is the first one. I thought I would revisit this one because Bioshock Infinite's coming out and that game looks like a bunch of fun. I never played the second one. I very much enjoyed the first one. I never actually, I will make a confession, I've never actually beaten it. However, I know what happens. Uh, for some reason, I th had something come up and I forgot about the game. Uh, but it is it was brought more to my attention because of infam uh, Infinite. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take down some of the volumes because this is probably... This game's going to scare the crap out of me. I'm sure you guys are going to love this. Uh, well, let's start a new game. And I have done other shooters, and I am definitely not going to go hard mode. Uh, that one's too difficult for me. We're going to do medium. I would say maybe expect some uh, screaming from time to time. Mid-Atlantic. They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Something interesting I'll note about that package that I didn't notice until uh, after I replayed it, but it actually says "Would you kindly" on the front, and you will that will become a big factor as you play through the game. So make a note of that, and kind of take that into consideration as we play through along. start, man. Underwater. Wow. Okay, so if you guys can look around, it looks like, uh, looks like we crash landed, which is not cool. Okay, and I have not played this game in like three years, so there are going to be some aspects of this game that's, believe me, scare the living crap out of me. And I'm, ex I'm ready for it. So if you kind of stay here, you can actually see the, the plane kind of sink lower and lower. But... <sighs> I gotta tell you guys, I'm a little nervous right now. So before we head down, I'd just like to let you guys know, uh, if you guys could not put any spoilers in the video, that would be wonderful. Uh, I know what's going to happen, I'm, I'm almost positive most of you guys know what will happen, but if there are the occasional people who have never played this game, please do not spoil it. The twist in the end is one that will, will leave your jaw dropped, and it will also kind of be a little bit confusing. There's definitely little things that I'll point out, but I don't want to give everything away. Uh, I will definitely be looking through the game. Oh crap. Gods or kings, only man. 
And I will, a quote from Andrew Ryan, I will be doing a lot of looking around in this, so kind of enjoying the scenery as I like doing a lot of mine. But Andrew Ryan says, in what country is there a place for people like me? So it looks like fish, waves. Now this beginning is uh, pretty awesome. If you guys have ever played this, we're 10 fathoms deep. It's just a very, very cool beginning of the game. 18 fathoms. Whoa. Oh yeah. Fire at your fingertips. Incinerate. Plasmids by Ryan Industries. I am Andrew Ryan. And I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Wow. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. So we are now in Rapture, underground city, love that little whale, don't know how many fathoms deep we are but we know we're at the very bottom. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Let's do this, man. Let's do this dance. Fleet Hall will be going there later, if you guys saw. A lot of those places will be visiting. Oh 
my gosh, I have no health. Crap. That's not good. Would you kindly pick up that shortwave radio? Okay, we're gonna do something really quick. We're gonna go to options, customize controls, customize keys. And what I wanna do is it looks like I somehow for use I want that. Enter. First aid. It's the plus, okay. Back. Resume. There we go. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. Um Dude, there was someone out there. And step out of the bathosphere. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. Um, there was a freaky lady with blood all over her face. Um, We're gonna need to draw her out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. Okay. Another reason I'm not gonna put the, the special effects on the background is because, although you guys can't hear very well, I'm gonna have like the splicers talking to me and that just I don't like that. Anyways, let's check out some of this cool stuff. Okay. We're not your property. Ryan doesn't own us. Let it end, let us ascend. So it almost sounds like almost sounds like he didn't allow them to go back up to the surface. <laughs> 